say, words couldn't hurt me. Videos, it's my name, they getting thirsty. Go ahead and put him in a hearse. It's getting murky, this time I deserve this. I'm ready for whatever war said, he been a matador, stand for the dims. I'm dreaming for, I'm eating caviar. True definition of R&R, &R, revolutionary rebel. All right, let's do it. PMB Rock's murder investigation is taking a deep dive into his past because apparently cops are under impression this might have been more than just a random robbery. On the contrary, it may have been a planned execution by a foe. LAPD sources tell us that the case is moving in several concurrent directions and one involves detectives digging into the late rapper's personal life, especially when it comes to who he's rubbed elbows with or possibly but it heads with, resulting in would-be beefs. We're told investigators are especially interested in his ties to Atlanta, where he apparently spent quite a bit of time, as well as his home city of Philly, and they're asking any and everybody if PMB had known enemies who might have had it out for him. PMB lyrics also under a microscope at the moment. The cops wanted to see if he referenced any feuds he might have had with any of his peers in Slash or other individuals. This is an interesting development. Cops initially thought it was a fatal robbery in which random thieves came across PMB and Slash or his girlfriend's social media, saw what they were up to, and went in on the attack. But why then didn't they just snatch his chains and leave rather than shooting him multiple times and killing him? Question mark. Cops now believe this could have been an elaborate scheme by someone with a hidden vendetta. No matter how you cut it, the fact is this fact that the L.A. investigation is now crossing state lines is pretty stunning. And they certainly, I mean, and they certainly wouldn't do that without at least a good hunch. Now, as where things stand on the terms of ID and the suspects in or the getaway car, our sources say cops are still trying to track down a vehicle through video feeds. We're told that getting that they're getting a lot of tips, but it's taking time to sift through and see which are legit. One final thing. We're told cops don't believe PNB's girlfriend, Steph, had anything to do with PNB's death. A theory was floated by people outraged. She posted their location, suggested she might have done so on purpose. Other sources call that BS, adding she's not believed to have been involved in in the planning or execution of killing PNB in any capacity. Ah, gosh. All right. So they ain't saying nothing. The reason why they said all that BS is because of the idiot who in Minnesota who threatened Cuz life. If you go back to what was said in the video, PNB Rock said, oh, I'm in Atlanta. Hmm. Then PNB also is from where? Philadelphia. Y'all know they under that Rico. So what they're trying to do is they're trying to spin any type of narrative instead of saying really what it was. But he got robbed. He got killed. He wasn't going for it. And they shot him. Other than that, going through theories and all that, they do this all the time. The first person, the first suspect that they think about, if they have no clear suspect, they think about who has the most to gain. That would have been PNB Rock's mama. And now I am not saying she had anything to do with any of that. But this is how it goes. It goes, who has the most to gain? Then they go, did the person have any beefs? Y'all see this all the time. Because obviously somebody you beefing with may want you up out of here. But as far as saying that this was a planned execution style hit, I got to ask the simple question. That would still mean that his girlfriend's social media was used because we haven't seen a video of him live or online or anything like that showing his location, even though that's what the police said. And I think the police said it. So they wasn't stressing out his girlfriend, but y'all let me know in the comments, man, do y'all things, subscribe, turn on that bell to stay notified. We'll go live about it later on. But in all honesty, bro, this don't look like what it is. It just looked like because PNB was in freaking Atlanta at the time that dude from Minnesota jumped on there and everything like that it just makes way too much sense but if i'm wrong y'all let me know you shut that's up that's why your shoes raggedy that's why your mama dead dead as hell what shoes she got on what shoes she had on her casket that's why your granny ain't got no knees she can't pray to jesus bitch how about that
Y'all expect me to keep it real? Because you know that I will. I do this daily, baby. Check out the Nightly Nash podcast. Also, Street of Music, Seti Nash, if you have not. It's on all streaming platforms. Guaranteed you're going to find something you like. Probably like that overly thugging freestyle. Or maybe something different. Let me know in the comments. We possibly shoot that music video.